Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate VAT in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel. And like usual, we'll click on the blank document here. And here we can see the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to hold down the control key and zoom right in so you can see this a bit clearer. So we want three columns in here. We want the excluding VAT price. We want the VAT amount. And then we want the including VAT. So for now, I'm going to do this using uh, British currency, the pounds, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in, in the dollars afterwards. And then you can change your currency accordingly to whichever country you're located. So for now, I just want to um, highlight these three columns. So I'm going to left click on A, drag across, holding down the left mouse button. So these three are highlighted. I'm going to right click, go to format cell, and I'm going to go to currency. And it's defaulted to pounds. So your one might say dollars or euros or wherever you're located. But my one's defaulted to pounds. I'm going to leave it at two decimal places and click OK. So in this first column, I'm going to type in 100, which is going to be 100 pounds. I'm going to click on this little box in the top corner and just left align everything. Let's click on number one and make it bold. So these will be our titles and now our contents all left align looks good, right? And we want to calculate VAT. So in the UK, it's 20%. So I'm going to type in the equal sign, equals, and I'm going to click on this cell. So this cell here, B2 will equal this value here, 100 pounds. And then I'm going to use the multiplication sign, which is the shift key and number eight. So you get this little star. And I'm going to type in 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is 20%, right? So in UK, we charge 20% VAT. When I hit the enter key, we'll see 20%. Now we just need to uh, calculate the including VAT. So I'm just going to add these two values together. So I'm going to press the equal sign, click on this one, hold down the shift key and hit the plus sign and then click this one here and then hit enter now i've got 120 here right so we can type in any value and use the formulas now to calculate the vat so we can do 150 250 500 we can do obscure numbers right we can do anything we would like any sort of random numbers so here's some random numbers so we just highlight these two cells so click on this one hold down the left mouse button and drag across and in the bottom right hand corner you're going to see this little green box when you hover over it, you can left click hold down the left mouse button and drag down and you're going to see all of your VAT calculations uh, created here, right? So we can do that with a little test in the calculator. Let's just open up the calculator. Let's take 500 and, uh, 258. So 258 multiplied by multiplied by 0 0.2 equals 51 pound and 60 pence, 51.60, right? And you can just do plus 258 and then you'll get your 309.60. In the calculator, you can also do uh 258 times 1.2 and you'll still get that 309 160 so that's another way to calculate you can multiply it by 1.2 uh, which is also 20 percent yeah but it's better to do it this way because then you have a column which actually shows you the vat amount so i prefer to do it this way let's take another example let's just say that you're based in america and you want to do usd and it's a different um percentage let's say it's like 15 percent right I'm just going to highlight these few cells here. I'm going to right click and then go back to format cell. And in this drop down, I want to find uh, English United States here, right? English United States. Now my currency will be in dollars, still at two decimal places here. And we'll click OK. And let's type in something like 100 US dollars. Let's type 250, 354, and let's do 589. So we've got USD currency now. And let's just say the percentages was 15% right not 20 percent 15 percent so then we can just do equals this value multiplied by so shift in number eight and it will be 0 0.15 0 0.15 will be 15 percent we'll hit enter and you can see 15 percent of 100 dollars would be 15 dollars right we'll click here and we'll type in the equal sign we'll click on this value and then we'll press the plus sign and we'll click on this value and hit enter now you've got 115 dollars let's left click and highlight these two values and then drag down like we did before and now you've got all your currencies in usd let's do one more example where it's a decimal place so let's take uh these columns here let's just cut and paste them here let's just insert another row here and we'll cut and paste them uh, down here as well like this and now let's just do one more calculation where it's at a decimal place so um what we'll do is highlight these columns let's right click let's go to format cell and we we'll set it back to a currency we we'll use pounds for now 
and let's set it to 100 pounds now before VAT went to 20% in the UK it was at 17 and a half percent this is many years ago but it was 17 and a half percent maybe in your country it's 14 and a half percent so let's do something with percentages so what we do is equal sign 100 so we click on this value here and then we do shift and number eight to make the multiplication sign and then we want to multiply it by let's say 17 and a half percent so it would be 0 0.175 that will be 17 and a half percent right so just imagine you put a little dot here between the 17 and that will be the half a percent so let's hit the enter and we get 17 pound 50 17 and a half percent of 100 is 17.50 let's click on this cell and hit the equal sign we'll click here and then press the shift and the plus sign to add a plus sign here click on this value and hit enter now we've got those values there and then we can randomly type any other number that we want and we will get the calculations at 17 and a half percent let's select these and drag them down and now you can see those values there as well right so now you can see uh calculations at 17 and a half percent so if you want to do 14 and a half percent that's very simple let's just copy these values down here we'll paste them down here it's 150 let's make it a nice round number like 100 so we can see the calculation clearly We'll double click on this cell and if it's 14 and a half percent then you just change that seven to a four and now you've got 1450 right if it's uh 12.2 percent for some strange reason then you do 12.2 and hit enter uh sorry not 12.2 let's let's undo that we want 12.22 like this and that will be 12.2 percent right so whatever value you type in here is going to determine um what the percentage will be so if it's um, let's say 16.5 percent we'll type in 16165 and hit enter then we've got 1650 all right so that's how you do the calculations using microsoft excel for excluding vat the vat amount and the including vat so i find this very useful if i'm creating some products for an e-commerce website and i need to do some quick calculations to work out vat this is how i do it let's go ahead and minimize this that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial